judge to order that they be allowed to remain in the country. We're simply asking the judge to stay their removal for a little bit of time so they can go to immigration court individually and explain why they shouldn't be removed. And the basis for their claim that they shouldn't be removed are the changed circumstances in Indonesia where Christians are being persecuted and tortured. And we believe that if our clients are sent back, they will be in severe danger. Now, some of them may ultimately not be granted relief, but they all have a right to seek that relief from the government all of a sudden now feels it's urgent to remove them. They've been living here peacefully for decades. All of a sudden now, the administration says they have to be removed. And not only do they have to be removed, but they have to be removed so quickly that we're not even going to give them time to go to immigration court to file claims for asylum and under the Convention Against Torture. We think that's unreasonable, unfair. We hope the administration will change its mind. But if not, we're hoping that Judge Saris will order their stays of removal for some amount of time so they can seek that relief. And I'm wondering, you know, I think that you're deferring to the discretion of the director of the court right, office right. in terms of implementing the priority system. Right. How problematic do you see that level of discretion? Yeah, I mean, that, that's, a, that's an important point. What you heard today from ICE was that they have almost complete discretion in their view about whether to grant a stay or not. We're not challenging that in that this proceeding, but it just goes to show that when you give complete discretion, bad things can happen. So these are individuals with no criminal convictions, who have been living here peacefully, and all of a sudden, even though in the past they've been granted stays based on the exercise of discretion, all of a sudden now the government's saying, we're not going to exercise the discretion, there's no criteria that bounds our discretion, and we don't even have to take into account that these individuals may be persecuted or tortured if returned. And so that, that's very troubling. Were you surprised at the judges repeatedly talking about the cumulative and the abuse of this? Like, this deal, if you will, that started in 2010 seems to be going to the next Right. Feeling that you have the humanitarian judges more specific than they felt that the judges were specific. Right. I don't know if we were surprised by the judges' focus on it, but we were, we were grateful. And, and truthfully, I think that anybody who looks at this case and looks at this situation and looks at that these individuals came forward at ICE's request and that there's a humanitarian background to this, I think you can't look at this case and say the government's interest in removing them urgently is greater than these individuals' interest in getting some process to show that they're going to be in real danger in Indonesia. So we weren't surprised, but we didn't necessarily expect it, but we were grateful that she saw the equities in this case. Do you think the judge's concern about the lack of paper documentation cuts in your favor? I think the lack of paper documentation does cut in our favor because what the government's trying to do is show, is say that some of the individuals don't fall under this quote-unquote program. And what she brought out, I think, with her questioning to the witness and what my colleague brought out very well is that the program really wasn't written down, it really wasn't precise, and all the individuals were essentially treated the same. Just all of a sudden say some individuals are not part of the program and others are, it rings a little hollow given the lack of any paperwork or precision about exactly what the contours of the program were. That's right. We were able to elicit testimony to establish the fact that ICE went out and specifically investigated and specifically invited individuals who were Indonesian Christian at this time to come out of the shadows. ICE confirmed that they contacted members of the clergy in New Hampshire in order to have them come out. Uh, 
whether or not or how much time they're making. Well, the other one is the global one. Right? So one is one is just <laughs> I don't think it's stopping. So one is just in the case of Terry Rombot, and I think that the judge was focused on whether he's gonna remain in detention or not. But he, like the others, was seeking to stay in removal for some reason out of time to file claims to remain in the country. So that's what's different about his case is that he has the additional claim of wanting to be free and out of detention in addition to remaining in the country. But he's also part of the larger case about remaining in the country. National 